Today on TwinCam, it's the final part of Melvin's pre-NEC refresh, and probably the most major, as we're gonna be giving the car all new door cards and new door bins. At first glance, these door cards and door bins may look absolutely fine, so you're wondering why on earth am I changing bits that look fine? Well, when you look closely, you'll find that both cards and bins are completely knackered. Now, they're not particularly high quality anyway, because Austin Rover, but all because of user incompetence means that these parts have been destroyed. Now, I'm not gonna throw them away, because what's the point in throwing away 30-year-old parts? They might come in use one day, despite being broken, but let's just show this as an, as an example. That door bin is not attached at all to the door, and it can't be, and I'll show you why when I get the new parts out of the boot. So, I've managed to find possibly the only set of intact Mark III Metro door bins in the world because this for something that you're trying to put items in, that is horrendously cheap plastic. And the problem is all with the screws. So you'll probably be able to see best on this side, there are a row of screws down the bottom, one up here, and then one just here on the speaker bin. Speaker bin, speaker bowl. This door card is being held on only by that one screw with the speakers there, which is no good. And the reason being is because these are so cheap and metal screws hold them in, People tighten the screws far too tight, and as a result, the plastic just cracks. I'll put some pictures up of the state of the plastic in the door bin here, um, and it's not great. That's just because someone at some point has had the door bins off, um, probably to fit the new speakers, uh, because this car has had new speakers during its life, and as a result, they've tightened the screws too much, and the plastic's all cracked. It happens to all the door bins, and so fortunately, I've managed to find a decent set. So our first job, of course, is to get the door bin off and then we'll be able to see why the door cards are also knackered. And it's as a result of these bins breaking. So, as I said, the screws holding this in are not numerous. Um, for some reason, someone seems to have put a bolt around this screw here on the side. I've got no idea why, because it doesn't actually do anything for holding the door bin on. I just don't understand that at all but there we go so there is a screw in the door down here but again it's not doing anything it's not holding it on it's just in the door and now it's missing its screws here and here so you know fortunately i have new old stock rover screws because you know i'm made of money at least i think i am so there should be just the one more screw here although there might be one around the side actually yeah one more screw around the side that i missed and then there you go that is the door door bin off catch that screw i'll be able to show you the exact damage so the door bin looks fine from that angle it's a little bit dirty just because people use the car but i mean look at that in the center down there and that there, they're cracked so badly because it's, it's, once they're cracked, it weakens the plastic and therefore, I mean, that's not going to hold it in, is it really? I mean, look how large that hole is now around there as well. It's just the only one really that is completely functional is that one there. Um, and that one, to be fair, that's not cracked. Oh, it has cracked slightly, but it's all right. So yeah, those two holding it on. Not much good, that. But here's where we see the problem with the door cards. So because the door bins weren't sticking to the doors properly because of course someone had broken them someone tried to super glue the door bin onto the door and so i've taken the door bin off in the past to try and see exactly what was going on because i knew that it had been stuck with something and of course when i try and peel it off it rips the vinyl on the door card so and so from someone knackering up the door bins also now the door cards have been knackered as well so fortunately i do have a set they've been on a car but they're better than these they're intact at least so um, let's get dis to dismantling the door furniture so we'll get the speaker off first and then the window winder the door handle and the door pull 
and then the door card should just peel straight off. So this will be why this door card has come off at some point, this, this speaker. Now these speakers are pretty good um, and they're mounted in the original kind of Rover mounts um, just with a new speaker in it. So they fit perfectly, um, but it's just a shame that when the door cards have been put back on, that they've been broken. Although to be honest, even that mount there is broken at the top. But the combination of the other screws and the door card, sorry, the door bin itself will hold the speaker on. So I'm not too bothered about this one screw hole being broken in the speaker mount. Make that two of them broken. So yeah, there's one screw holding this speaker on. I cannot get those terminals off for the life of me. Well, there's one. That are the terminals corroded on, so I'm gonna leave that. Unlike a lot of cars, Metro window winders, I might need a little screwdriver or something for that. Metro window winders are not held on. Come on. These trim removal tools are rubbish. There you go. Try not to break stuff and it just takes an age to undo everything. Metro window winders are not held on with some kind of stupid spring clip, they're just held on with an eight millimeter bolt. So much easier. I'm sure you've probably seen in the problems video that I had with Melody um, that on A-Series Metros, these little door handle surrounds, they just break really easily because again, really, really cheap plastic. But on K-Series Metros, on K-Series Metros, they somehow manage not to. The last bit of door furniture to come off is this big door pull. Um, now, I'm not sure these stupid trim removal tools are actually going to be up to this, but um, let's give it a go at least. Oh, there you go. That was nowhere near as difficult as I thought it was going to be. And then, of course, because people use it to pull the door closed, it's got to be mounted pretty solidly to the door, so it's held in with two huge screws. So now with everything taken off the door, we should just be able to pull the door card straight off. It's just held in with a few trim clips around the side. You shouldn't even need a trim removal tool for this. It all just kind of comes off. And then down the bottom, it's held on by the screws. So there aren't any down there. Just got to be careful not to break them. Somehow got to manage to untangle it around that speaker. That's not going to work, is it? Ooh. There you go. That's me not being very careful there. I've just taken a little dink out the side of the thing, but I managed to get it off, so that's all right. And it's not broken. It's just got a minor ding. So there is the inner workings of a metro door. Now clearly someone's cut out the plastic here to try and get into the handle and latch and lock area. 
Um, don't know what for. Someone's also cut it in the bottom as well. Again, no idea what for. Um, yeah, everything looks pretty solid in there. Do you know I should have bought? While I was doing this, I should have bought some cavity wax and put all down the bottom of the doors. You only think of these things when you're actually doing the job. So yeah, there we go. There's the wire, wires for that. They're coming through this hole, which is a bit strange. I'm sure they're not meant to, but they are. No idea. So these new door cards I've got are not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but at least they're not torn like the other ones. I've given them a good clean up to try and get them as good as possible. Um, but one thing we do need to address before we put them on the car are the trim clips on the back because this one is missing two of them. So I'm going to nick some of the trim clips from that card, put them on this card, and then we'll put it in the car. I put the door card back in the boot because it's safer here than putting it out on the road or trying to get it in the car itself. So um, the two that it's missing are down here. So I should really have put more time into thinking how I'm going to film this video. They should both go on like that and then we can put it in the car. The only other thing that's wrong with this one, and I should have thought about this, is that the vinyl is coming off at the bottom here. The glue's clearly melted, but it shouldn't make a difference because you can't see it at the bottom um, and if it does annoy me I can just run a bit of glue down there and stick it back over but again it shouldn't matter so I'm just gonna go with it sun's really getting in the way now but this is why i love old cars it's just so much easier to do a job like this than it would be on any kind of modern car the only wiring is for the speaker and everything just kind of screws in screws out and clips in and clips out so yeah that's so much better um the actual condition of the door card itself apart from that little bit there where the vinyl has been ripped out is no better than the old one but it's better to have a door card that is intact um, than to have the other one so Let's get all the door furniture back on. Start where we left off with the with the handle. Now the reason that K series Metro door handles don't break as much as A-series ones is because they redesigned the hole where the screw goes in and unfortunately this one has still managed to crack but unlike an A-series one it's not going to fall off the door and uh, by design it can still grip on enough at least to keep it on um, but that's unfortunate I've never taken this off for and I didn't know that was broken but it's not showing any symptoms of falling off so let's just put it back on Make sure I put the window winder back on in the same orientation it came off because there's nothing that annoys me more about a car interior than having two window winders that are not facing in the same direction when the windows are closed.
I'm not tightening them too tightly because again, that's how you get breakages. But that is now solid and tight enough. Again, I might need to find new, um, I don't know what these are called, the little mount things that Rover put in from factory and then the speaker is actually screwed into the mount. Um, I might need to find new ones of them, but again, I'm not sure how easy they are to find. I know that to find door cards and door bins that are intact is, I don't want to say impossible, but it's not easy. So the door bin itself, is that the right one? It is the right one. Just want to make sure it's not the broken one I'm trying to put back on. I don't know why I bought screws, new old stock. What a stupid financial decision that was. We love to see it though. Look at that. A door bin that isn't broken and a door card that isn't torn. I've been meaning to do that for the five years I've had this car. And it also means there's no use for this little nut anymore. That can go in a box with other nuts. Just need to do the other side now. Well, I'll flip the car around so we can get it on this side. Unfortunately, this door bin is a lot better. It means I can actually use it and it doesn't want to pull off the car, but it still has its issues. So some of the screw holes are broken. And again, the vinyl on the door card is broken. So it still needs changing and needs refreshing, but at least I can use this one. So it's not been the end of the world. And that's why I've put this off for so long because I need door bins. The one on the passenger side doesn't really matter. But in this door bin are all my cassettes. I think there's a bit of a theme going on here. We have Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen, 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 Springsteen. That's just completely standard for me. Um, and then two Delamitri and Sam Fender's new album. That's brilliant. So yeah, with all those out of the way, we can take the take apart this door bin and get all the furniture out just like we did with the other side. That is not the correct type of screw. Fortunately, I have the new ones. That's the correct one. And that's not the correct one. See, I think they're the same thread, so it shouldn't have destroyed it. But yeah, that's not the right time type of screw. quality install. You know we love to see it. This side's really been messed with. 
But it's alright, it's not letting any water in. I live with it. That doesn't fit brilliantly. I think the door handle was in a slightly different place on the old door card. That really is not wanting to fit right. There's a little line at the bottom, but I suppose it's at the bottom. You can't see it at the bottom, so it'll do. It's better than the old one. This bottom corner is a bit floppy, but once the door card's holding it on, it'll straighten out fine. This one's a little bit scuffed down the front, but I'd rather it be a little bit scuffed there and not really be that noticeable, rather than it trying to fall off the door. So it's better to have it slightly scuffed. The old one's scuffed as well, to be fair. So Melvin should now be ready for the NEC. Hopefully no more creaks and rattles from these door cards and the door bins that have fallen off because now they're actually solid on the car. They look a heck of a lot better than they did before. And I'm very happy. This is a job, as I said, that I've been putting off for virtually five years. So very happy to finally have it done. So yeah, Melvin is ready for the NEC. Joins again next time when we will be traveling down. Hopefully everything goes to plan. But on that note, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please do click like and subscribe to TwinCam as well. I'm forever indebted to my wonderful Patreon supporters, so if you'd like to support me that way, then please do follow the link in the description. And I'll have more videos coming along soon.